Okay. Uh, my 13 year old son, my nearly 14 year old son, uh, his uh, latest phase, he wants to watch him some Star Wars. He's been oh. watching the Star Wars and oh. he's been watching those lousy Star Wars movies that we've been getting since, you know, 85. He's been watching the good ones. He, <laughs> man, like this will, this is the, the ultimate parenting fail on my part. Okay. He's like, I want to watch, he refers to Return of the Jedi as Star Wars with the Little Bears. I want to okay. watch Star Wars with the Little Bears. Okay, let's do that. Let's watch that. And then uh, I have like a, um, uh, one of my sisters got me a, like the DVD Blu-ray collection of the originals. Um, okay. So I would have them forever, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. in case I want to fume at the special editions, but yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I don't mind too much. Um, and so uh, we, he gets done watching Jedi and then I'm like, he watches that like eight times and then he's like, yeah, I'm going to watch a different one. Uh, watch the, the other one. Um, so I put an empire for him. My son is four, oh, nearly 14 years old, man, Mike. Mm -hmm. Empire starts. Scene up. Planet of Hoth. Mm -hmm. Tauntaun. Mm -hmm. My son, my nearly 14 year old son <laughs> turns to me and he goes, oh my gosh, this one has snow in it? Crap. I had forgotten to show my son the Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> oh, Matt. Matt. And somehow, he still got into Star Wars. <laughs> hey, you know... Ooh, wow. I mean... Okay. Have you shown him the prequels yet? No, I'm hoping to I'm hoping to keep him a fan of Star Wars. So I'm going to... Hey, hey. Not... <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. 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 All right. So... So this is a tangent, and I don't know if I've ever admitted this on this pod. <laughs> I'm a weird Star Wars fan, okay? Uh -huh. I did not watch them when I was a child. Mm -hmm. um, my dad wasn't a geeky guy or anything like that, neither was my mom. None of All my friends were like big sports heads, and my dad was a comedy nerd, so I would watch a lot of comedies. Didn't see Star Wars until I was in graduate school, Matthew. Nice. I didn't see... Because... I had I had my own apartment. I had HBO on my cable box, and for a brief shining moment, all six Star Wars movies were on HBO on demand. And I'm like, you know what? I'm paying for this service. Gosh dang it! I'm gonna watch me a Star War. Mm -hmm. But, and and I I consulted with many people. I'm like, what order should I watch this in? I got tons of different answers. I got people saying only watch three of them. I'm like, no, all six of them are on there. I'm gonna watch it. So what I did, Matt, <laughs> is I watched from episode one to episode six. Okay. Because I figure they can only get better. Mm -hmm. They and were right. Like, like, and it's not like I was spoiled on anything. I obviously knew. By the way, spoiler alert: Darth <laughs> Vader. 40, sorry, Luke's forty father. year old. Spoiler yes. alert. <laughs> spoiler alert: Darth <laughs> Vader is Luke's father. No, I mean I already knew the basic plot beats of the whole story. So I'm like, they're not going to ruin anything for me if I see the building of Anakin Skywalker as Darth Vader. Okay, cool. So I watched it from one to six, and I have an affinity for the prequels. Are they great? No. Some, some parts are hot garbage. <laughs> but there are things I like about the prequels. Like Darth Maul, badass. Mm -hmm. Great. Probably my favorite Star Wars villain. Mm -hmm. um, I enjoy the pod racing. Mm -hmm. I'm a mark for it. I'm fine. Good stuff. It's good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, Attack of the Clones. Lots of action. Everything else can kind of die in a fire. And... <laughs> And actually, it does in yeah. Revenge of the Sith. So, you know. <laughs> but uh, Revenge of the Sith, like, especially Revenge of the Sith, I was, pardon the pun, lukewarm on. <laughs> hey -oh. Until I saw the, um, the Clone Wars cartoon. Right. Once I saw the Clone Wars cartoon, I'm like, okay, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. And then when Disney dropped the last season of the Clone Wars cartoon, it restructures the prequels for me entirely. Mm -hmm. And now, like, it's wild. It's like... Absolutely wild. Acres of context now. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. And it, scenes, yeah. it hits a lot differently. Um, I love it. Like it's uh, to see the uh, execute order 66 from the other end of the spectrum is mm-hmm. fucking bonkers. Like it's great to see the Ahsoka stuff and and obviously four, five, and six are great. Mandalorian, 